Say hi to the camera. Is he gonna be your new roommate? Good morning, landing crew. So today is going to be a very busy day. We've got lots to do. Lonnie took the day off from work. Liam has a genetics appointment, which I'll explain, but we kind of woke up late because we stayed up late, so we're trying to hurry up and get out the door, so we'll see how that goes. Guys, I really miss my Sony vlogging camera. Oh my goodness. I'm so thankful I have the Canon so I didn't have to go out and buy a whole new camera that night that my camera broke, but I miss it so much. We're trying to figure out if we are going to repair that camera or just buy another one because it's like $400 to repair which is insane. So I'm really not gonna have time to sit and explain like why he's going to the geneticist. For all the new people, Liam is my 16 month old son and when he was a couple weeks old, we did a genetics test on him. We did that because my son Noah, who is 11, he has autism and intellectual disability. They believe it's caused from a chromosomal abnormality on chromosome 15. So we had a genetics test done and it was found that Liam has that same abnormality. So we need to go back to the geneticist. It's why Lonnie is coming with me. He took the day off because this is kind of an important appointment. I'm wanting to get this done now because for some reason up here in Jacksonville, this specific geneticist, because he's a private practice, it isn't near as long of a wait as it is down in Clearwater. So it made sense for us to do this now. And then we've just got a lot of stuff to do today. I forget the stuff we have to do, but I know it's a lot. I remember thinking less. No, no, it's Especially stuff stuff. It's just like boring air and stuff. <laughs> Alright guys, I have rambled. Let's go. Come here. What's going on? You ready to go see the doctor? Oh, what's this? You will carry me. I just hope you know my depth. Even though it makes no sense. of emotions Sometimes I'm the lighting Don't wanna pick a fight with me Everything seems so good I guess I can't you help you. myself you did. So we are waiting on the doctor now. The hard thing about specialists is there's always a wait when you have to come. So we've been here for about an hour, but we're just being patient because we know that he has- been starving me from my sandwich. Okay, so the last time we came here, there wasn't a long wait, and there's a sandwich place next door, and he's like, hey, can I go get a sandwich? And, and I'm asking the nurse, you know, what's the sandwich just like? And he's like, oh, it's super good. And I'm like, Ugh. If I would have known it was gonna take this long, I would have been like, okay, go get a sandwich, but I thought they were about to call us back. Liam, what are you doing? Guys, so we're gonna get one of these for Lux and Noah because they are so cool. Like, if you guys want one for your child, they said they're at Ikea, but it's super cool. Noah likes just like being by himself a lot, especially if he's like playing on the iPad or something. So we figured that would be good and Lux loves doing it too. He'll like go in places and hide and things like that. So. What? What are you doing? Is your brother getting all the attention? So we are done with Liam's follow-up genetics appointment. He's suggesting for our whole family to get tested now. I think that's what we're gonna do once we move because we're gonna transfer our genetics down there. We just wanted to do the follow-up before we moved because down in Clearwater there's like a year wait. So it's just kind of a waiting game at this point as far as like if he's gonna have like a developmental delay. I think he's doing good. He's not really talking but I still feel like he's definitely within that normal range. Lex and Sir talking until he was two and a half so honestly I'm not even gonna worry about his speech until he's like three. I still don't feel comfortable getting Nelly tested yet. I just don't want to have that worry and anxiety over it. With the older kids it's different because obviously they're pretty typical kids so it's not really gonna worry us if they're like oh yeah they have this deletion. So daddy is tired. Just a little. What are we going to do next? Eat. Eat? Yeah. I'm 
hungry. He He's didn't get starving me. No, I've not been starving you. He didn't even get him a sub after all of that being like, oh, I could have got a sandwich. I was like, go get you a sub. And he's like, no, we'll just go get McDonald's. A few moments later. So we are just out running errands. Lonnie is in the bank right now. And guys, it is just a craptastic day. This is gonna be TMI, but yesterday I had my first postpartum period and it is horrible. I'm three months postpartum and it is making me so miserable today. But we have things we have to do. We have to get packing. We have to get organizing, decluttering, and all that stuff. We only have about three and a half weeks at this point before we move. So we really have to put our butts into gear. Lonnie has today off and the next two days off. So I really want to take advantage of him being home and get as much done as possible, especially going through the laundry room. Our laundry room is a hot mess because Lonnie put all of his like tools and everything like that because we don't have a shed we don't have a garage we don't even have an attic so we just kind of have to make it work so our laundry room has kind of become the catch-all of just junk and I am meeting someone today to pick up some bar stools for our new house our house has like a little bar in the kitchen I don't like the ones we have now because one they go with the table I'm trying to sell also I want something that's just all wooden because we do plan on like getting pets in the future and so we don't want something that's gonna be scratched up or chewed up or that kind of thing when I looked at the store for these specific bar stools. They were $90 a piece. I'm about to pick up two that look brand new for $80 for both. So I love saving me some money. And guys, I did not know this, but Marketplace on Facebook is like a thing. I found so much nice furniture there because we're trying to find a big dining room table, but I've rambled long enough. Let's go. All right, guys, so these are the bar stools I got for our next house. We're going for more like a rustic kind of country chic looks. Noah, look at our new bar stool. Is it that nice? These are old. Well, it's supposed to look that way. So I have to change stinky butt over here, little Penelope. And then I'm going to get started on finishing packing my closet. Just start on one in the house and work my way through. Oh, my Lord. This moving stuff, it's hard. Would you So Lonnie is napping, but I got so much of this closet just cleaned out. Like, look at that! It makes me so excited when I see empty spaces. These are just all boxes. There are a few things I can't pack yet. We're gonna probably end up using all these diapers anyway. But now I'm trying to go through all of this stuff my mother-in-law gave me. My house was spotless and then she decided to give me a bunch of clothes. She said, hey, do you want these clothes? I'm like, sure. I didn't realize it was so much. There's like just so much stuff to go through and there's other stuff over. And there's me, Noah! There's you, Noah. You know how your house gets crazy when you're moving because you're packing and moving these around? That is how it is right now. Everything is insane, blah. But the good news is, is it's almost dinner time. Yay! The next day. Is it breakfast time? <laughs> good morning, landing crew. Today is another day getting ready for our big move. As I said, my mother-in-law gave me so much stuff and I spent all last night going through it. All this stuff right here is being donated and these are going to consignment stores. So we are going to do that today. I'm trying to get my house clean again so then I can go through and pack some more because that is the cycle I have. The kids are being crazy. Say hi to the camera. Is he going to be your new roommate? <laughs> yes, he is. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, bye ma'am. Have a nice time crawling. Yeah, let's not crawl with cords there. No, that would be bad. <laughs> Hi, baby girl. Are you ready to go with mommy and daddy? Cat boy! Are you gonna go bye byes with us? Yeah. Yeah! <sighs> oh my goodness, guys, I hate moving. I just wanna throw it all out and start over new when we move. I'm not gonna do that because that's really expensive, but that's what I wanna do because I hate packing, I hate decluttering, and that's all I've been doing. And I feel like I've been so productive, but my house and my room still looks horrible. Hopefully we can fix that when we get back. You hungry? Do you need a bottle? She needs a bottle. Is Daddy making you into cat boy? Yeah. All right guys, look at our ridiculousness. Just ready 
for my house to look decent and to get rid of stuff and be ready for this move. I'm trying to make moving day as less chaotic as possible. Obviously, we're moving with six kids. It's going to be chaotic, but I want to minimize the chaos if I can. So we dropped everything off. I'm getting you. I'm getting you. Did you have a good nap while we were going? Yeah, but we dropped everything off. Now we're gonna work on our bedroom and getting all of our furniture emptied out because we're selling our bedroom furniture. So we're gonna empty out, clean it. So when ah. someone's ready to come get it, it's ready. So obviously since we're moving 200 miles away, we don't want to take all of like the fridge food or even the pantry food if we can help it. So Lonnie and I are trying to piece together dinners from what we have left. So we're trying to be creative and we have some lima beans and some broccoli. We're gonna need more broccoli than this, babe. Do we, okay. <laughs> I was like, this would feed like two of us. And then we have some chicken. My room is a complete disaster just because we are trying to get everything done. I packed up most of this. As crazy as this is, our goal is to clean all the furniture and just move it out of here and just kind of make it work until we move and get a new bedroom set. You guys are just gonna have to excuse me because for the next couple weeks, I'm not gonna be wearing makeup. I may not look super cute. So you're just gonna have to bear with me and know that I once was cute. <sighs> Moving is so much work. So, this is just another video where I go to edit and I realize I did not close out the vlog. So this is me closing out the vlog, guys. We are just super busy and I apologize. As I was saying, not only am I going to look subpar at best, but a lot of these videos, even vlogs, are going to have a lot of us just cleaning out and packing and getting ready. It's just a really big move and the fact that we have just a 26 foot truck and it's not an in-town move so we can't make a bunch of trips like we normally could. So we're we're really just trying to make sure everything's ready. When you guys see this, we will have two weeks before we actually have to be completely packed. If you are new here though, we would love for you to be a part of our YouTube family. So go ahead and hit that red subscribe button and comment below and let me know how you're enjoying getting an upload from our landing crew every single day. We will see you guys tomorrow. Bye. Where you move, make me blind. You will always be there There's no doubt in my mind You will always be there Heading out to see ya And leave the rest behind